98 achievements, one save. This is Achievement Chaser. Hey guys, it's Alex here, and I'm back with Achievement Chaser for episode 140 now. Uh, and we're taking on Benfica away from home today. Massive, massive game for the league title. We've had a number of games since our last win versus Partizan. Uh, we played Chavez in the league, and Enrique with the only goal um, to give us the win there. Uh, we then played Vittorio Guimaraes in the fifth round of the cup. We won 5-1, very emphatic victory. Louis Motta with two, Julinho, Jemi, and Cuchera with goals. We finished off our League Cup third phase um, against Acad Academica. We won 2-1. Um, Motta and Guzman with two goals in two minutes to put us up. They got a late consolation, but we finished the group top uh, and means we've got a semi-final versus Sporting coming up. We won't play that. We'll play whoever wins. If we win this one, we'll play the final versus either Porto or Benfica. Um, we then had Maritimo. We won 3-0 in this game. Everaldo, Jimmy and Charla. A 2-2 draw versus um, Braga. I absolutely despise this game two shots on target for braga two goals and i just want to i want to show you the second goal i want to show it to you this is ridiculous we deserve this game completely motta with the two goals for us we should have won this game i i couldn't believe it to be completely honest actually like what had happened from this goal uh here we go i'll just i'll just get it in 3d for you um here we go, direct to Cam. So they got a free kick, yeah? And you said, oh, Turner scored. scored. So maybe like, it comes back out to him and he gets a long-range screamer. No. It, it just goes in. What happened? What ha He scored from 45 yards out from a free kick? I have no idea. It just seems like the physics were off for that. Uh, we then took, obviously took it out on Estoril, 1-7-0. Beloy with two, Guzman with two, Everaldo, Motta and Enrique. And then finally, we beat Tondela in the cup, 4-0. Alexander and a Bakarshiev hat-trick for 4-0. So that means we are sitting in the league currently. Um, here we go. We have dropped some points finally. First draw, of, the, of course, it's Braga as well. 46 points. Benfica are behind us on 42 with four by four points, so they could come up within one point if they win this game. They're still very much on hands. They did lose to Vittorio Guimaraes. Massive, massive result there, but we'll have to see what what happens in this game. Um, obviously, we've got the League Cup semi-final. We have the Portuguese Cup semi-final coming up. The draw, I think, should be soon. Basically, it's Porto, Benfica, Salqueros, and Sporting, so very, very tough games. Um probably the first time all four of us have been in the semi-finals together and then as you can see here we have Bayern Munich in the champions I don't understand why we win our groups honestly Bayern Munich are ridiculous they finished second in their group to Real Madrid it's a bit of a joke really we should have come second um who came se obviously uh Ajax came second in the group uh they got Dortmund I so Dortmund who finished second in the Bundesliga get us like this team is so much easier to take on. Look at these players compared to... So this is their team. That's not too bad. Like, I think I could take that. Look at Bayern. I just want to show you Bayern's squad. So they've got Fakitsas, who's probably the Germany's best striker at the moment, was up for the World Ballon d'Or. Um, they've got João Felix, currently, was up for Ballon d'Or. Mbappe, I think he won the Ballon d'Or uh, playing for them. They've got Dominic Becker, ridiculous left winger. Uh, Ledesma, ridiculous centimeter he's also a striker play, uh, american as well um lungwitz alfonso davies still playing for pokongu who i tried to sign but they they sold it bought him instead for 14 million to such a to go so yeah basically i'm feeling a bit peeved off they got pavlov as well i can't believe it they actually signed pavlov from arsenal for 106 million so we might face pavlov you can see there's a lot of players on my scouting list here um david galley as well he's, he's on the bench for them he's ridiculous like they bought him for 115 million. It it doesn't seem fair to be completely honest that we we can go on to win our group and that's what happens. But I guess it is what it is. We'll have to see how things go then. Um, but yeah, so today we'll focus on today. We got Benfica, massive, massive. If we get a draw out of this game, it's huge. This is the lineup we got. Thankfully, it's full strength. Adessa, Castillo, Tibor, Ramos, Orokov, Guzman, Leo, Beloy, Enrique, Everard, and Motta. Um, I forgot to say, it's actually transfer window. So we've had a lot of bids coming in for players. Um, I don't want to say, has anyone left? 
Eddie, Lorenko, Alcee Jose, and then have gone out on loan. We did sign uh, Cal. He joined from uh, Palmeiras, our 18-year-old Brazilian right, but he's got an injury, so he hasn't played anything yet. He's just recovering from that. We also did sign Alexander Strock from Rijeka. Rijeka? Rijeka? Re Rick, yeah. um, he was a Croatian attacking midfielder. The last time he signed a Croatian attacking midfielder, Rivets, we sold him for 87 million. So, worth a punt. He's It's 500k. It's nothing really. And then other transfers wise, nothing happening. Just lots and lots of rejections, basically. As you can see, they're always bidding. And to be fair, we've been doing very well. A lot of the times the players will complain. But then we basically just tell them that... Um, there's a really good atmosphere <laughs> and they're, or they're a leader and they'll be like, oh, okay, that's cool. They'll stay. Only, only people that don't really take that is Odessa is not very happy. Leo isn't very happy. Um, he's currently unhappy because he didn't get his move to Barca, but we've got them all on contracts till 2034 at the minimum. Moss is the only one that's close to, to going, so we might sell him this summer. We'll have to see. Um, but yeah, so back into the game, finally. Um, let's go for it, boys. Let's, it's a completely different team. We basically rested the entire team versus Tondela um, to, to prepare for this game because I need to win this game. This is a this is a big game. If we lose it, we're within. We're we're still leading the title, but by one point, I'd rather we don't have to worry about that. Um, Junior starting up top for them. I think he's. I could actually sign him on a free transfer currently. He's on loan from Man City. Um, Felix Trinchao, Diallo, okay. Um, Kasunu's playing right back again. Sadio Santos, Adelson Ray, Andre Jacob. He's quite good. The problem with Benfica and Porto is their youth just keep... Like, you can't keep them down because their youth just keeps creating ridiculous players. It just It's just unfair. Our, ours isn't up to that standard yet. Our, our youth intake, it's not looking the best. We had the preview come up. It's, it's okay. But here we go. First chance. Oh, my God. Ramos. Oh, Ramos. That was... He was literally open from the Guzman free kick there, and he just hits it straight at the keeper. Would have been a fantastic start. We've started this well, apparently. Four shots, two on target already. Everalla, we've got another chance here. Guzman, very open in the middle. My days. He's driving forward now. Took a bit of time, but Beloy, okay, loses out. Don't, don't. Oh, back to Barros, to Jacob. Everaldo steps in, plays it to Motta, and Motta scores 1-0. We jumped on their mistake there. I thought we might have given it away, but poor from them. Very, very poor. And we are now up 1-0 in a massive, massive game. We've absolutely started very, very well. Everaldo just steps in. Jacob doesn't push in enough. Lays it off to Motta well, and he finishes well. Maybe I do need to give Motta that contract, but he wants like 150k, and I kind of want to keep him to about 120, 130 at maximum. We'll have to see. There are a few players up on the transfer list as well. Cadete from Sporting, their striker. Oh, my God, Casteo. Casteo scores! That's two! Two goals within 10 minutes. It's very similar to the first game we played them. My days. Okay. Um, yeah, Cadete wants to leave, and he's 20. They do want 74 million for him. But to be fair, we do have a tra we do have a achievement to spend seven a hundred million or over fifty million on, on a transfer. There is a centre back I'm also looking at who's avail available for eighty million, who might make me break that uh, break that fifty million mark. But we just don't have that much money. We need to sell players to make that much money, unfortunately, because we're still I don't think self sustainable really, apart from tra player sales. But I'm only willing to sell backup players because I'm not selling this first eleven unless very very necessary because they're just that good and i know they are world class or they're going to become world class maybe the only exception is orakov but until we find a good a, a good enough left back to replace him he'll stay there everyone else i think has potential to be a world class player and i selling them just reduces our our uh chances of oh my god is that going to be a penalty we'll see it's going to reduce our chances of eventually winning the world uh, the world cup the the champions league because it will make another super team much better, like Pavlov's done uh, with Bayern, like um, Villa has done with Chelsea. Like it, it does. It's, it's, yeah. Will it be a penalty? Can we go three 0 up in this game? What is it? The penalty awarded. Oh my days! Who's taking the penalty? Jose Everaldo to take. Come on, fella. He has missed a couple since then. Can we make it three in this game and really kill this game off in the first half an hour? Everaldo steps up. It's, it's a long, it's a long way. He's going to miss this. It's, it, we're waiting way too long for this. He is. Oh, he puts it in the bottom corner. The weight didn't kill him. It didn't break his nerves. That's his eighth of the season. He's getting back on the goal scoring form. 
three nil up within the first. Th what is that? We we have got Benfica's number. Hopefully, we can beat Sporting in the semi and just get Benfica in the final. But you do know we will lose to Benfica if that happens. Um, it's very very obvious that will happen. Come on, boys. Fantastic work so far. We've absolutely dominated. We've gone nothing to the ball. Maybe this is our finally our sort of our our year where we suddenly start to dominate and proper dominate, like actually take control of these games versus Benfica and versus Porto and just don't give them a sniff. Because that's what we seem to be doing so far. They've changed their left back actually. Maznaric has come on. Um This is insane. I don't understand how we're winning three nil away from home. Um, okay, they've also brought on De Groot. He always seems to score against us. Um, so make that change quickly. Who do they bring off? Felix and Trinchao. Oh, they've made all of their subs. They've gone... Okay, Jankowicz has gone into the middle. Very interesting. Very early subs from them. Hopefully. Hopefully they don't get an injury. Although well, there is a chance. Now. Okay, Orokov clears, but it... W oh, Kasunu's going to get onto it. Plays it back to race. Curran playing centre mid for them. Jose Veralda, can you close Mesnarich down? There's two boys out there. None of them go near him. Falls to the group. What, what did I say? What did I say? Nick to the group scores. He scores against us. Just poor defending all around. It's their first shot on target, which is very, very typical of, the, of FM. Mesnarich. I don't know what these two are doing. They, just, they literally just split for him. And then... Oh, I just don't understand that. But... Goal back for Benfica, unfortunately. No clean sheet away from home. Oh, don't do it. Like, Don't do us like this. Diallo puts the ball in. Leo clears. De Groot's going to get onto it. Maybe we push back to balance now. De Groot. Oh, my God. De... <sighs> Christ. What is happening to us? Why have we suddenly turned off this second half? We've absolutely dominated. And then we've gone, oh, yeah, we've forgotten how to play the game now. Okay, Laguerne's through. <laughs> It's 3-2 now. Two shots on target. Two goals. Uh, it's just... What are we doing? What is happening, lads? What has gone on? Why are we? Why have we suddenly decided to play like idiots again? We've absolutely dominated the game. They've had two shots. Two ch two highlights this game. And they've scored both. And suddenly we're on under the cosh again. But Loy has been very silent this game, actually. I know he's low on... Was, was low on fitness. We've given the ball away again. If they score a third. If they come back from 3-0 down, I'm going to be fuming. I can't believe it. Junior, the group, completely just beats out Orokov there. Shoots wide, thankfully. Come on, lads. What is happening here? Beloy's going to come off for Whiteley. Um, who's tired? Leo's tired, but I'm going to keep him on because uh, he is very, very crucial. Okay, they've changed to a 4-1-2-3, which is interesting. Um, we'll leave things as they are. Who's tired as well? Everaldo's tired, so we'll bring on Mikayas for him. Leo's tired. We'll bring on Dos Santos. Five minutes, boys. Just hold on for five minutes. Four minutes. Just hold on. There we go. We made it a lot harder than we needs to be, but... Oh, get in. 3-2 win versus Benfica. Massive. Massive for the title. We go seven points clear at the top. It's our, it's our title to lose now. It's our title to lose. But before a couple of the past seasons, it's been very much late. Got going up to the, the final sort of things. We've got Porto at home left to play, but they are way off. It's just... Just keep winning now. Just keep beating who we need to be and who we should be beating, and we'll have to see. Uh, we also have, do have the Copa America group stage draw coming up. Um, so that'll be this summer. We'll have to see how that things come for that. We might be back next time, but I'm going to go away. I'm going to play the sporting game. If we win that game, we'll be back for a cup final, the League Cup final. If not, probably maybe the, the semi final. We haven't played the semi final in a while. Maybe just a regular game, maybe Bayern. We'll have to see. Otherwise, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. It's been Alex, and I'll see you guys next time.